change. No matter what part of the world we live in, it is altering our planet significantly and the worst is yet to come. The melting mass of ice and snow that causes sea level to rise. Heat waves that causes bushfires. Frenzied typhoons that causes flooding, destroying anything on its path. Our planet's changing climate is causing food and water shortages. How is it affecting our fellow citizens? Malaki ang epekto dito sa amin kasi may bagyo, paghabagat, malakas ang alo, hindi makalabas yung bangka namin walang customer doon sa ano, sa beach. O tapos pag mangingisda naman, hindi naman maka labas yung bangka kasi malakas ang mga alon. Tsatsaga na lang ng pagkunti-kunti kahit ano na lang ang mapagkukunan. Pag malakas ang bagyo, tapos talagang nasira ang tanima, talagang wala kaming makukuha dyan. Mahirap. Lahat nakapagod nandyan. Pero wala naman kaming ma ibang magagawa. Talagang dyan kami nabuhay sa pagtanim. Well, hindi kami naalis yan ng pag-asa. Actually, bilang isang vlogger, marami akong karanasan when it comes to climate change. Lalo na, for example, kung nagkaroon ng typhoon, no? uh, dahil hindi ka matutuloy, dahil nakaschedule ka na doon sa time na yon na kailangan mong vlog. Nakaka-disappoint kasi unang-una, pumunta ka sa isang lugar, no? tapos bumagyo, umuulan, alam nga naman ituloy mo yung vlog mo. So medyo delikato din. So medyo disappointing kung minsan kapag nagkakaroon ng climate change. Ang pinakamagandang gawin is lagi ka lang dapat prepared. Science and technology have taken actions in contributing and helping our planet and us humans in adapting to a world's drastically changing climate. They already have taken action in inventing, innovating, and using technologies in order to decarbonize and to combat our changing harsh climate and environment and reducing anything that causes our planet to suffer. One of the first thing we could do is to cooperate with the local government and communities in order to make plans policies, knowing the risk we should take, and mainly supporting financially. All over the world, many countries already have taken steps in building flood defenses. Coastal cities need to install an early warning system to which can able to save the lives of their citizens. We can redesign streets to make them less prone to flooding and paving to improve excess water. Farmers can grow crops that are resistant to flooding or droughts. We can plant mangrove forests to protect villages from flooding and create fishing grounds. And we, as normal citizens, we have a part to play. We can help by planting grass in our gardens instead of tar concrete so the water can drain to the soil. We can also paint our roof white so it can deflect dangerous heat. We can all take steps and help each other. Uh, here we go, yo. Uh. Yeah.